The summer box office battle is heating up with Elvis securing the number one spot from Top Gun Maverick at the weekend box office. But will this momentum last through the summer? Joining us now to discuss this is Eric Davis, Fandango Managing Editor with us in studio. Eric, we're just getting caught up because we saw Top Gun five really weeks after the, the release. Really late to the game. But a billion dollars for this yeah. movie. How much of this is specific to Top Gun? How much of this points to the fact that people are slowly starting to ease back into the theater? Yeah, experience? I think it's this perfect recipe, right? It, it, it came out on Memorial Day weekend, the beginning of summer. It's super entertaining. It's not one of these comic book movies where you have to see like 11 other films and TV shows in order to understand the plot. It's simple. It's the follow-up to a classic movie. And it's Tom Cruise. And Cruise has refashioned himself in the last few years to be this, not just an action star, but the kind of action star that puts his life on the line to make these movies. Uh, and he did it again with this one. They're flying in real jets. They're going G speeds big time. <laughs> and the actors are in there too. And it, you feel the intensity of it. And audiences know when it's real deal and when it's like a green screen and computer effects. I mean, you know, since we're late to the game, right, we have to acknowledge that the summer movie season started when this movie came out about four or five weeks ago, Memorial Day weekend. But look, we're in the middle of the summer. We're coming up on that very important July 4th weekend. What are some of the other big releases? We know Elvis has kind of taken the top spot right now. Look, I know it's a little goofy, but Minions is coming out, <laughs> right? This weekend. Yeah. Oh, that's, well, that's a massive, I mean, that's a massive franchise, right? So what are the other big hitters that you think are really going to catch a lot of attention? This yeah. Summer? Well, and you look at Top Gun and the momentum. We had four films gross over $20 million last weekend for the first time since Thanksgiving weekend 2018. So really a lot of options right now. And you mentioned Minions. Minions is out this week. That's a big one. Huge franchise. Illumination films always open really well. The Despicable Me movies, uh, The Secret Life of Pets, that is all Illumination. The Sing movie, Sing 2, also did really well. Uh, and so you have that. And then Thor Love and Thunder is right on, on the flip side of the holiday weekend. That's the next Marvel movie. It's big. It's absurdist humor. It's colorful. Different than that Doctor Strange movie, which was more of a horror movie. I would say even this Thor movie is maybe more family friendly than that Doctor Strange film. It's big. It's funny. A lot of silly humor in it. So I love that. And then we have some original stuff. Jordan Peele is back. Nope. Yep. Yeah, with Nope, which is an original summer blockbuster, sort of like a UFO. He he calls it a horror epic that is a classic UFO story, but it's also about our need for attention. You know, with Jordan Peele movies, there's always the spectacle and the entertainment factor, but then you leave them and you want to have a conversation. Yeah, that sounds like the perfect Jordan Peele that sounds description, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, you know, there, there is still this underlying discussion about whether, in fact, people are going back to the theaters in the way they did pre-pandemic yeah. with streaming and you know releases happening online as well. Does the success that we've seen over the last several weeks, does that put that to rest? Or is it really about the summer blockbusters? That's what get people out there. Well, I think the summer blockbusters are going to get people out there and remind them that they like going to the movies. You know, I think that's one of the big things that Top Gun Maverick did is everybody went to see it and they were like, oh, wow, like we're cheering. We're having a good time. I'm crying as I leave the theater. Like I'm not getting that experience at home. And that reminds people of like what that experience is like in their lives and why we value it in our lives. And so I think that really helped people go back. I think a lot of these big movies are going to bring some of those folks back to theaters. Um, and yeah, and then I think it's going to lead into the fall. So yes, I do think we're back. You know, last weekend we saw numbers we haven't seen since 2018. So that's showing us and, and that's proof that we're back. Um, and so I think, but it's going to depend week to week and movie to movie. Um, but I definitely think all audiences are, are, are back at the theater now and having a good time. I want to ask about Disney. Lightyear came out, yeah. maybe didn't do as well as they had expected. And even when we were talking about the movies that are hotly anticipated this year, Thor, which is a Marvel Disney property, kind of came up as almost an afterthought. So is Disney losing a little bit of momentum in this summer season compared to, you know, those hot summer seasons where everyone was just waiting for the next Avengers? Yeah, I mean, I look at Lightyear and a lot of people are talking about it underperforming, but it's still the biggest grossing animated film that we've seen since 
the pandemic started. So it still did really, really well. And, you know, Disney did bring some of those Pixar movies to Disney Plus during the pandemic. I don't think a lot of that sort of uh, impacted, but there may be people that are waiting, you know, 45 days thinking it's going to be on Disney Plus. My family just saw Lightyear yesterday and had had a blast watching it. So, um, but we're going to get Minions and then we're going to get DC Super Pets. There's a Pause of Fury. So there's another three animated films coming out this summer. And once we see those roll out, it'll give us kind of a better idea of just the animated genre at theaters and how it's performed. Yeah, I actually saw the trailer for Pause of Fury. It looks really good. It's like cats versus dogs with a <laughs> kung fu twist. I, I, I should say tickets are on sale starting today.